Hello everyone, welcome to Pixar Trick. And in this video, you will learn to turn your signature into your own professional logo or watermark just in a few minutes. Now, you may have a question in your mind that uh, why should I use a watermark or logo? Well, if you have spent a good amount of time on some art or photography related blogs or sites like Instagram, Flickr, 500px, you must have noticed that different photographers or artists use their watermark or brand on their own creation. In most cases, they use typography or generic logos or text tool available in the editor. Yet, a huge number of creators use their own signature as watermark too. All the extraordinary photos you have just seen or are seeing right now are from some fantastic photographers I have known. You can also check out their other works from their Instagram ID given in the description. Now what if you create something that is uniquely yours? Well, let's find out. So first all you need to do is to take a plain white paper and practice your logo a couple of times. And just choose the one with the best impression. Now just take a photo of it and you are good to go. Now you have to import your photo into your PC or Mac and open a browser and go to pixelart.com. You can also visit the website from the Chrome web browser given in your smartphone after enabling the desktop site from the menu. But as this will take much longer, a PC or Mac is recommended. And from there choose Pixlr X and now click on the open image and choose the unedited image you have just imported click on open and choose the original resolution and click on apply and you can see that we need some basic adjustments to do before transforming it into a logo so you will just click on adjust and we will keep the saturation at minus 100 and move forward towards the next section which is light and we will keep the black at around 65 and choose and keep the white around 75 now click on the shadows and keep it around minus 100 and now click on the apply and now all we need to do is to go to the cutout section and click on the magic cutout tool over here Set the tolerance around 100 and click on anywhere in the white area around the logo. You can see that it's almost done. We need some basic or minimal adjustments to do and it will just be our logo. So just choose the brass or the draw cutout and keep the size of the brass around 10 and the softness around 30%. And now scroll and the image will be zoomed and you can do the adjustment like this. If you want more precision, you can reduce the softness around 10 or 15% and it will be more precise. So now you can see that it's actually done and we are going to save it now. Choose PNG for saving your logo always and now click on download. It's downloaded and we can see it finally here. So that's all for this one. Press like if you loved the video and press the bell icon after tapping on the subscribe button for more updates.